is the Bosch Detect 120, which is a universal detector. This actually uses radar technology and it can detect objects in concrete and masonry etc up to a maximum of 120 millimeters deep. If you're using this on drywall it will detect objects that are 60 millimeters deep maximum. The one thing you want from a device like this is something that works. I have tried similar things to this in the past and not been at all reliable. I do have to say that this is the second video that I've made on this and the footage that I filmed first of all didn't work well at all because it couldn't find an electric cable. Well to be honest it could find a cable but it wouldn't indicate that it was a live cable even though it was plugged into a workshop heater which was pulling about three kilowatts. One of these is absolutely essential if you're going to be drilling into any walls etc if you do not know where the pipes or cables are. That is the only use I would ever have for something like this. If you want to locate studs in a stud partition wall, there is a much easier way of doing that using magnets. I will link to that video in the description below. This will work off any Bosch 10.8 volt or 12 volt battery. It actually comes with this adapter which enables you to use four AA batteries. To switch it on, you just press the red button. And then you've got the three modes. It'll always switch on in the universal mode. We've got the drywall mode and the concrete mode to the right there. You can also mute it if you should wish to do so by pressing that button. That will stop the annoying bleep. The display on this is actually very good and when you get near an object it actually shows you an arrow telling you which way you need to go in order to find the centre of the object. So I've rigged this up to be just like a stud partition wall in the UK. On the left hand side we've got a 22mm copper pipe. We've then got a 15mm plastic pipe which is filled with water. It will only find plastic pipes if they are filled with water. We've then got a down lighter. I've had to put a lens on that so it doesn't affect the camera and make it go dim all the time. And then to the right hand side, we have a piece of steel. I've used some blue masking tape to indicate where the stud work is. And then it just makes it a bit clearer on the video when we're scanning. So we're gonna switch the detector on. And then we're gonna choose the drywall mode. So you can see that the detector is now turned green. If I start to slowly move that, you don't need to press on really hard, it just needs to be touching the surface. You can see that it's picked up the copper pipe. And it's giving us a direction arrow, and it's actually saying that that is live. And when you get to the dead center, it will actually indicate that you are on the dead center. So that is a problem with this detector, it's actually saying that that pipe is live when it isn't. On the last video footage that I filmed using this, I tried to get it to detect an electric cable and it wouldn't do it. It would find a cable, but it would not indicate that it was live. Now it's indicating that the copper pipe is live. So the actual bit that detects whether something is live or not is not very reliable. If you put that onto the cable itself, it does actually indicate that it is live. But on the actual plasterboard, no matter where you go with it, it doesn't actually indicate it being live. So I'll try that again. So it is finding the dead center of the pipe, but it, it is indicating that it is live when it isn't. I'll now try going that way to find the plastic pipe. You can see that it has picked it up. It's telling us to go to the right, 
and when we get to the dead centre it does indicate that we've got the dead centre of the pie. However, it is telling us that it's live. So I'm going to put my hand on the plasterboard and all of a sudden it's telling us that it's no longer live. I'll now come back this way. So it is very accurate at locating the dead center. So I'll now go again. So we found the dead center of the plastic pipe. Then we've got a clear area and then we're approaching the stud. And it does find the dead center of the stud very well. So again, we're on the stud there. We've then got the live wire, which isn't showing as being live. It is very good at finding areas where there is absolutely nothing there, but if there is something behind the plasterboard, it doesn't actually tell you what it is. So you don't know whether it's a stud, a piece of metal, a pipe or a cable. It could be either of those. And the actual function for finding something which is live is not very reliable. So it's showing that cable as being live now. And that is not far away at all from the plasterboard. But if we come over here, where the metal is, it's actually picking that up as being live as well. Same with the water pipe. Now if I touch the plasterboard, it just picks it up as being a solid pie. And now it's not picking up the live cable. Although it is picking up the dead center of it. When you're in a area that's safe to drill, it will actually illuminate green at the top there. And then as we start to move that, it will start to detect the pipe, although it is saying that it is live. We've got the directional arrow there telling us that we need to move to the right. So when you're dead in the center, you get the cross and then you get the square behind and that is totally accurate. That is telling us dead where the center of that pipe is. I'll just silence that because it's getting a bit annoying now. But it is actually saying that that is live when it isn't. And if you touch the plasterboard with your other hand, it then shows it up as not being live. I'll put the sound back on and it annoys us again. So it's locating the dead center of the cable there. I have drawn a line on there, but it's not guaranteed to be in the right place because the cable has moved slightly. But the problem with that is if I now touch the plasterboard, it's going to say that there's something there, but that it's not live when it clearly is. And then if we come this way, it's actually saying that the piece of metal is live as well. This is very useful. It will actually find the dead center of objects that are buried in drywall, but it won't actually indicate what exactly they are. So you do know that there's something there, but you don't know what it is. That makes this very limited. The main reason why I bought this is because I wanted to check some walls, some solid walls, before I go drilling into them and I need to find out if there's any cables buried in it. So we're gonna take this into the house now and we're gonna check out a few walls where I know there are cables buried and we're gonna see if this can locate the cables. So I'm now gonna test around that wall light to see if we can find the cable. I'm gonna switch the unit on and it's automatically in the universal mode, which is what we want. 
if you are trying to find an electric cable it is important that the item is switched on there is more chance of the unit finding it so as you can see that is switched on it's now made the camera dim down so I'm going to put this on the wall you see it's not finding anything there it is green And it has actually found something there, but it's not actually saying that it is live. I'll now try it with the light switched off to see if that makes a difference. It's definitely found something above the light, and in most cases, wall lights are wired with the cable coming down from the ceiling. So it has identified the cable, but it's not actually identifying that it is live. So this is one solid wall where I've fixed the TV in the past. So I'm just gonna run that along there and see if we can pick anything up. We've actually got an electrical socket outlet just below the cabinet in that kind of area. So if we just come along the wall there, there is a chance that it will pick up the electrical cable, which it has done. But the next time I fix something to a wall, I will actually scan it first with this and ensure that it is showing the green light before I go drilling. If you've actually used one of these and you've actually hit a pipe or you've hit a cable, if you could just let me know in the comments, that'd be really useful.